Right now, Madison police investigate two separate potential shootings. What we know coming up. And a cloudy start for most of us. However, we could be seeing some showers or storms later today. We'll be timing that out in a moment. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. Now, before we get to news this morning, Julian's going to get us a check on our weather. Well, it is a cloudy start, as I mentioned, Shane, and we've been dealing with that cloud cover throughout our early morning hours, and it's really not going to break too much throughout the rest of today either. So taking a look outside here in Madison, we can see those overcast just really sticking around for us. And on top of it, we are going to be planning out the day, and we will see a bit of a break by the time we get towards the lunchtime hour. But for this evening, temperatures will try to warm up into the middle and upper 70s. But we could see some isolated showers or potentially some thunderstorms as well. But the question is exactly where and how strong they may be. But taking a look at our current conditions this morning, 67 in Madison. It's rather comfortable as we're waking up this morning and it's quiet as well. Even though it is a bit breezy as those southerly winds are sticking around for us. Temperatures around southern Wisconsin at 65 in Platteville and 66 in Janesville with dew points again not being too high, even though our friends towards the west are having a little bit of moisture for this morning, but the wind speeds are pretty breezy to start off, especially areas just near the Illinois state line. 13 miles per hour winds for Platteville and Mineral Points, 14 miles per hour winds in Janesville and 17 miles per hour winds in Monroe. Taking a look at our radar as of right now, throughout the last three hours, we've been dealing with some showers and storms, mainly for areas northeast, but around central Wisconsin, as we can see for Vernon and Crawford counties, we're starting to see some storms starting to fire off and move their way a bit east. So we're going to be watching how that may impact us later into our morning and going closer towards the lunchtime hour as well because we could start to see a bit of some wet conditions or even hear some rumbles of thunder shane all right julian thanks for starting us off with a check on our weather of course all right we're going to begin with some developing news this morning madison police responded to a weapons violation on the city's north side officers were called to the 1700 block of northport drive just before 8 40 last night Further details have not been made at this time, but stay with us here on News 3 and Channel 3000 for updates as they are made available. And on the east side, another weapons violation overnight. Madison police were dispatched to the 2300 block of Brentwood Parkway near Warner Park just after midnight. Officers on scene located several shell casings but found no signs of property damage or injuries. We'll keep you updated on both of these situations. It just it felt like an assault to, you know, just something that we love and care about. It's sadly not new for a business on Madison's east side. EVP Coffee's owner calls the latest burglary a one-two punch, showing a side of her neighborhood she never expected to see. Armand Rahman was there to see what happened next. There was glass everywhere. The, the cash register was thrown on the floor. Tracy Danner's general manager encountered quite the mess Wednesday morning at EVP Coffee. The door was open, the ATM was stolen. As shocking as it looks, it wasn't the first time this has happened. It's Danner's second break-in at the East Wash location in 10 weeks. This one really um, felt hurtful, it felt bad, um, and it felt different, it felt more violating than ever before. She doesn't know if she can keep up with this level of crime in her Madison neighborhood. I, I won't continue to do this if it if, it, if this is the new normal. New, but thankfully not normal yet to the owners of the new Aftershock Arcade nearby. Obviously, uh, someone getting burglarized just down the street is a concern. On the east side for less than a year, Brad Van says they haven't had anything like that happen, but it's on his mind. At close, we have had some of our bartenders uh, share concerns with us that they, you know, don't want to be working a shift by themselves, so we don't staff, uh, uh, you know, people alone. Still, business owners here, like Danner, love their neighborhood. I promised myself I would never put bars on my window. Do you know, I don't want to um, be afraid of my community. You know, I don't want to send that message. I love my community. Customers, nearby businesses and neighbors showed they love her too, offering support on social media and when she reopened Thursday. I realize that it's meaningful what we're doing and it matters and it matters to people and so that makes it worth it for me as well. And Danner says the repairs aren't the worst part. It's that she's responsible for the missing ATM and she doesn't know how much money was inside. The police are still investigating this situation.
The Michael Gableman election investigation is over. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss fired Gableman yesterday after his hand-picked investigator endorsed the Speaker's primary opponent. Before firing Gableman, Voss had criticized the investigator for wading too much into politics. Democrats say it's too little, too late. In a statement, Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer says Republican leadership needs to, quote, take responsibility for the damage done to our democracy and make clear the 2020 election was fair and secure, end quote. Republican Senator Kathy Bernier said it was a good decision to fire Gableman. An elderly man is dead after crashing into a piece of construction equipment on a rural Sauk County road earlier this week. Dispatchers first got a call about a hit and run crash from a construction crew working on Stone Church Road just east of the intersection with County Road D. While the workers didn't see the crash itself, they did say the suspect's vehicle dropped parts and fluids at the scene. The next day, an 85-year-old man's body was found on the ground near a van just around the corner from where the crash happened. Sauk County deputies determined the man died from injuries he suffered in the crash combined with an ongoing medical issue. Officials in Iowa County are searching for a driver in a hit and run crash in Mineral Point. The crash happened at the Quality Inn in Mineral Point between 6 p.m. Thursday and 6 a.m. Friday. The driver was believed to be driving a 2015 to 2020 Ford F-150 crew cab. The truck will have damage to the passenger side. Anyone with information is asked to call the Iowa County Sheriff's Office at 608-930-9500. Traffic was delayed on the interstate near Highway 51 after a pickup truck caught fire and exploded yesterday. You see the video here. Dane County dispatcher said the call came first came in just before 11 a.m. as a vehicle that was smoking after hitting the median on westbound I-39-9094 between highways 51 and 19. The vehicle then caught fire and exploded roughly 10 minutes after the initial call. The explosion was captured by a nearby Wisconsin Department of Transportation traffic camera. Kenosha police issuing more than $4,300 in citations to a man they say distributed more than 500 flyers of full, full of anti-Semitic language. Police said the 56-year-old Kenosha man got the flyers from a white supremacist website. The citations follow an eight-month investigation. We were finding them on windshields of cars. Uh, they were distributed in people's front yards and driveways on the sidewalks. Now, police said the case does not fit state or local statutes for a hate crime. The Midwest Anti-Defamation League says there's been a sharp uptick in anti-Semitic acts in the Midwest, particularly in Kenosha. Just north of there, the city of Racine is using new technology to try and crack down on crime. Police will use license plate cameras and audio detection devices. The latter can pick up sounds like gunshots with a 97% accuracy, according to the manufacturer. But unlike Milwaukee's shot spotter technology, which is limited to gunshots, the company says its equipment can hear all sorts of crimes. Persons screaming at the top of their lungs glass breaking, maybe in a, uh, in a business park at 2 a.m. Um, again, screeching tires when it comes to illegal street racing. The ACLU has criticized flock safety's technology due to privacy concerns. The organization says constant surveillance of non-criminal activities could infringe on people's First Amendment rights. But Racine's police chief says the microphones won't pick up conversations and the license plate cameras don't target faces. Well, still ahead, a local program helping young adults learning new skills. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's back with a look at your forecast. That's coming up. Sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning, installing train equipment and servicing all brands. Everything here is American made. But it's tough competing with China. Ron Johnson's making it tougher. Johnson pushed for special tax breaks for outsourcing corporations. But voted against tariffs and sanctions on China's unfair trade practices. And when Johnson's big corporate PAC donor announced plans to create jobs outside Wisconsin, he defended them. Uh, it's not like we don't have enough jobs here in Wisconsin. The biggest problem. Senator Johnson, stop making it tougher on us. When it's hot, all you want is some relief. Relief from the heat outside. 
Relief from sleepless nights and relief from big electric bills. Even your air conditioning unit needs some relief. So when you wrap your home with our premium injection foam, it's like putting your entire house in a cooler. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes, certainly. You know, we got some brand new woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4 Imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe ah, and guaranteed to deliver some ooh, yes. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4 Imprint, for certain. I'm going to miss you. At Prudential, we can't tell you when your kids will finally go out on their own. But we can at least make sure that when they do, you're ready. That's why millions rely on us for the rock-solid strength that helps you plan for and achieve your retirement dreams. Whichever road you take, who's your rock? It's Fuel Frenzy Weekend this Friday through Sunday at hy V. Get a five-cent fuel saver on fresh ground chuck, a five-cent fuel saver on Lay's potato chips, an eight-cent fuel saver on basket and bushel blueberries, an eight-cent fuel saver on 7-Up or Canada Dry six-packs when you buy four, a five-cent fuel saver on Intamin's Little Bites, and get a 20-cent fuel saver on Mia Italian Take and Bake Pizzas. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend this Friday through Sunday at hy V. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And we're going to start things off with our almost fall-like day for us. Starting into our Saturday morning, cloud cover is blanketing our skies here. We did see a bit of a break having a little bit of sunshine early morning, but as of right now, folks, we're not going to be seeing that break until later into today. Looking ahead, this is what we're going to be seeing as we get into our late morning hours for us. Temperatures will warm up into the lower 70s. A bit of that break in the cloud cover will finally come around lunchtime, but then early afternoon, we're still going to hold on to mostly cloudy conditions. Now, this is our current set up for us. Not a lot of us are seeing rain, but there is still some storms that are into just the corridors of Wisconsin, which would be the northeast and for the southwest. We're looking at this low to continue to push itself in with the warm air advection, which has brought in a bit of moisture. But the thing is, as we continue throughout the course of the day, there's just not a lot of fuel to juice up these storms to be bringing in more showers that would be more widespread by the time we get into the afternoon. But that doesn't rule out the possibility that it could occur. Now, taking a look at our radar, we are looking at some showers and storms starting to fall apart in the northeast and continue to push towards Lake Michigan and our areas to the southwest. Just near Vernon and Crawford County, we're looking at that small little cluster starting to blow up, but the areas just in Grant County that has some showers are starting to fall apart. Taking a closer look as of right now, where we could start to see rain starting to move itself in. New Glarus could potentially see a quick little burst of some showers, but really Lone Rock is going to be the next area to start to see some storms rolling its way into our mid-morning hours. Now, taking a look at what else we could be experiencing expecting for us. The SPC has issued a level one out of five marginal risk for parts of central and most of uh, southern Wisconsin for us until throughout the course of today. Now our threats are rather low, but they are still there with the current setup. A brief spin up, not looking for anything widespread in terms of tornado, but for a hail and winds, well, small sized and high winds are going to be expected if we do see any of these storms start to blow up, going from strong to potentially severe by the time we get into our afternoon and our early evening hours. But this is what we're seeing. Walking through the rest of the morning, we're going to see that break. By the time we get into the lunchtime hour, temperatures will still warm up as a southerly flow brings in a bit more moisture and some warmer air, but things are still going to stay rather cool. We're into the mid 70s by the time we get into the evening hours. But again, since we're not seeing a whole lot of juice in our atmosphere, 
you might not see uh, much in terms of storms starting to fire off. So pop-up showers are going to be expected throughout the nighttime and then fall apart by the time we get into the overnight. Sunday morning, things are going to be cloudy into the 60s once again, but we're just not anticipating much in terms of rain. But if storms do fire off, we could see the projected rain totals to start to increase, but overall it's still around a tenth of an inch in areas to the southwest. Could see a quarter to a half of an inch. The next few days, though, after today, we are looking for some smooth sailing, holding into the 70s, just giving us a quick little taste of some nice weather before we see some storms next week, Shane. All right, Julian, thank you very much. Yeah. Keeping us updated. New this morning, 100 Black Men of Madison Incorporated is hosting its annual back to school celebration today. Now this drive through event will allow elementary and middle school students who are accompanied by their parents to receive a new backpack full of school supplies. It takes place at Goodman South Campus of Madison College from 8 to 11 this morning. COVID-19 vaccines will also be available at this event. It is the 27th year. A program dedicated to helping young adults with disabilities gain and maintain employment through training and career exploration is celebrating its newest graduates. Yesterday, six Project Search graduates completed a nine-month rotation at the VA hospital. Over that time, the graduates were able to successfully complete at least three rotations at different areas of the hospital where they developed transferable skills to support them as they seek community employment. Since its start in 2008, Project Search has provided a workforce nearly training to nearly 1,500 Wisconsin residents. But it's great for the families. Some of them may have thought that uh, their, their child may not have ever been able to work independently out in the community. And now they've gone through this program and they're ready. Many of them have job offers, so it's just a great time to celebrate all of that work and, and what they've accomplished. Some really great stuff there. A lot of help going to those in need. The people building a new greenhouse outside of Southern Wisconsin High School say the project is much more than that because they're building a classroom too. The Sauk Prairie School District broke ground yesterday on the Jeff Hicken Horticulture Learning Center. The structure will help students and teachers expand on their farm to table initiative. Currently, the school can really only grow landscaping plants and flowers, but when complete, they'll be able to grow more vegetables too. One of our goals was we wanted to make the space more accessible to student projects when we're working in the space because in our current space we were bumping into each other, you know, moving things out of the way just to get around in the facility itself. The greenhouse will feature adjustable LED lighting putting the students to the test. They'll be able to work together to find out what lighting arrangements work best to grow certain plants. Set to open in the spring, the greenhouse is named after former ag teacher Jeff Hicken, who passed away last year. Still to come this morning, Senate Democrats celebrating the passage of their latest bill. We've got the latest from Washington coming up next. And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks and three things to watch. Oh my God, look. No way, she has definitely got some work done. Doesn't even look the same anymore. Talk about an extreme makeover. I wonder how much money she spent on those upgrades. Hi! The house looks great, right? Three years, no interest on roofing and siding from Feldco. Right now, get three years, no interest on Feldco roofing and siding. Three years, no interest on Feldco roofing and siding and soon. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. 
Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our weekend special. All smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed. Ends Monday. This is the Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar. The bar in the handle removes unseen dirt and debris ahead of the blades for effortless shaving in one efficient stroke. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one selling nerve care company. Nervive contains alpha lipoic acid to relieve occasional nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Try Nervive Nerve Relief. If Tim Michaels is governor, here's what reproductive health care would look like in Wisconsin. Providing abortions? A felony. Exceptions in cases of rape or incest? None. Here's what Michael says to Wisconsin women who get pregnant after being raped. To ask her to go through the birth is not unreasonable. Tim Michaels is a radical and divisive politician coming for your rights. Wisconsin women deserve better. Vote no on Tim Michaels. And breaking down our weekend for us. Well, folks, this is what we're seeing. 79 degrees today, and that might be even pushing us. We're still going to be holding on to some cooler conditions throughout the course of the day. But a chance of a storm is still possible by the time we get into our later afternoon and close to our evening hours. Tomorrow, going to be a cooler one. We're looking at variably cloudy conditions, however. But 74 degrees on a Sunday just sounds flat out great. Now, taking a look at our radar as of right now, we are still monitoring what's happening in Vernon and Crawford County as of right now. As showers and storms are starting to fire off, and you can see the strength of it as well as multiple lightning signatures are within that storm as it continues to push itself across east uh, western parts of southern Wisconsin. But taking a look at what we have, marginal risk for central and southern Wisconsin, and here's another breakdown of our threats. Tornado, hail, and a wind for any kind of strong or severe storm that fires up. It's a low chance, but still potentially could happen with the wind shear that we could see with any of the storms that roll through because of how our atmosphere is set up. But outside of that, our three things we'll need to know. Thunderstorms are possible for today. Cooler heading into our Sunday and for the next few days, the 70s stick around in our forecast. And outside of that, we're going to be dry after tomorrow or after today until about Wednesday. It's going to do it for right now. Let's go ahead and toss it back to you, Shane. All right, Julian, thank you very much. Well, there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming nowadays. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. The debut of Daxton was unreal. Your social status has skyrocketed so much that now people hate you. You used to make that face all the time. Newly streaming on Netflix is the third season of Never Have I Ever. Isn't it crazy that Paxton and Davey are together? She's dying, right? It's like a deathbed last wishes thing. High schooler Davey is finally with the boy of her dreams. But with a new relationship comes new problems. I like you. Yeah, but why? No one else thinks we make any sense. No, you don't think we make any sense. Did we discover that being in a relationship doesn't solve all of our problems? Nice try, Dr. Ryan. The entire Olivia Rodrigo album would disagree with you. All ten episodes of season three of Never Have I Ever are streaming on Netflix now. You ever hear of Hugs Not Thugs? These two psychos right here, they're gang members. Isn't that the place that reforms gang members? Yeah, and sometimes we don't do our job right, and they don't get reformed. Newly streaming on Hulu is the comedy series, This Fool. My cousin spent the last eight years in prison. Sorry, I'm late! I'm just trying to help him, but that fool won't listen to me. Why does your body still look 19, but your face looks 56, fool? <laughs> Hulu and Luis are cousins from different worlds. When Luis is released from prison, he clashes with Julio and his rehabilitation program, Hugs Not Thugs. People love buying cupcakes from ex-gang members. Boy, oh boy, these sure are some yummy cupcakes. Do you want me to relapse? Would you buy a cupcake? Thank you. 
Red Velvet is an amazing choice. All 10 episodes of This Fool are streaming on Hulu now. Do you mind moving your car? Bad time. I think I got room. I'll just go around. Ooh. Hey, you. You're clearly going to tryouts. She doesn't look like that much competition. I could be competition, I think. And newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the series A League of Their Own. We're here for the tryouts. I don't think you understand. This is the All-American League. We're pretty All-American. Abby Jacobson, Darcy Carden, Nick Offerman, and more star in the series reimagined from the 1993 film with new characters and storylines involving the Rockford Peaches, a woman's baseball team formed during World War II. They don't get to decide if this is real or not. We do. Let's go! All eight episodes of A League of Their Own is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. And in other entertainment news, after seven years leading the band on The Late Show, hosted by Stephen Colbert, John Baptiste is moving on. Louis Cato, who has served as interim band leader this summer, will take over on a permanent basis when the show returns for its eighth season. Baptiste has been with the show since its launch. The band leader often cheered Colbert's nightly monologue from the, from the piano, appeared in segments, and accompanied the musical guests. He also won five Grammys earlier this year. Next, new details on the Mar-a-Lago raid, what investigators were told to look for. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Without the right start to your day, your morning could hit a wall. It's not the door. I got it. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits are baked with slow-release carbs and provide steady morning energy to help you rise and thrive. Ooh. Kohler, of course. When were you going to tell me about the new shower? Oh, you like it? I love it. I designed it myself. Is she bragging about our shower again? Wow. It was all Kohler Luxstone. The walls, the storage, the shower head, everything. A Kohler authorized dealer walked us through every detail, and installation couldn't have been easier. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm, I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. Tony Evers, Joe Biden, they're two peas in a pod. Both career politicians in way over their head, failing the country and the state of Wisconsin. That's why I'm running. We need to have strong, proven executive leadership in Madison that can get things done and make this state as great as it can be. Who's on it with Jardians? We're managing type 2 diabetes and heart risk. We're hitting the trails between meetings. And putting the brakes on fried foods. Jardians is a once daily pill that not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one steady pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? We're on it. We're on it. We're on it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. Sure feels good when you get it right. And with the number one power toothbrush brand recommended by dental professionals, Philips Sonicare makes it easy for you to always get brushing right. Phillips. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture. Right now, the warrant used to search Donald Trump's home is released. More on what investigators found. 
And it is cloudy, but can we see some rain? We'll tell you coming up. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. Now we're going to send it over to Julian for a check on our weather. What's it looking like today, Julian? Well, it is a cloudy start, Shane, and on top of it, we are still seeing some showers and now some storms that are starting to fire off just near Vernon and Crawford County. And that's what we've been watching for over the last about 30 minutes or so as we've seen that development. It's really starting to blow up coming from eastern Iowa. And we were looking at some showers just near Grant County, but that's weakened quite a bit as we've gone in throughout the last hour or so. So as we continue throughout the rest of the morning, we'll watch for the development of this storm because we could see some small hail start to be produced from it, but just how far will it stretch and how much will it grow is one question and we're going to be waiting to see. Outside of that, though, we have a marginal risk for central and southern Wisconsin for today as the level one out of five for us to see strong or severe storms. And on top of it, well, here's a look at our threats potentially that we could see from any of those strong or severe storms that do want to fire off. Tornado, well, not really confident in it, but we could see a potential brief spin up. We do have the ingredients for it with the wind shear that we will be looking at outside of it. Small sized tail could be one thing that's associated and then high winds from 50 to 60 miles per hour are also one thing that could be an ingredient of any of the storms that follow through. But outside of that, one thing we're going to know is that after today we are looking for drier and mild conditions to stick around for us. 70s and that's right. More sunshine and a bit of cloud cover are going to be sticking around for us. We'll take a look at what else to expect for the rest of the day coming up in a few moments. Until then, back to you, Shane. All right, Julian, thanks for keeping us updated. The FBI agents who searched former President Trump's Florida home were told to look for signs that official records had been altered, destroyed, or concealed. That's according to the search warrant a federal judge unsealed yesterday. CBS's Matt Piper has details about what was found. The warrant used to search former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home was released by the Justice Department Friday. It shows the FBI seized more than 20 boxes, some containing documents marked top secret and above, and according to CBS News sources, likely include highly sensitive communication intercepts. The search warrant indicates that Trump is being investigated for potential violations of the Espionage Act and two other laws. Donald Trump is a one-man crime wave. Democrats say this is more evidence that the former president has no respect for the rule of law, while Republicans are rallying behind their party leader. We cannot tolerate this in America where our great institutions are welded and, and abused uh, in such a way to defeat people's political enemies. In a statement, the former president said the documents seized were declassified and that he would have provided them if asked. Simply declassifying information does not solve the problem for the former president. Jessica Levinson is a CBS News legal contributor. She says it is unclear what comes next. We still don't know what's in the documents they found, and we would need to know that really to know what happens next in the investigation. The FBI also took handwritten notes, two photo binders, information about the president of France, and a document about the pardoning of Trump ally Roger Stone. Matt Piper, CBS News. The affidavit supporting the search warrant is unlikely to be made public unless charges are filed against Trump. Trump also claims former President Barack Obama took 33 million documents with him when he left office in 2016, but the National Archives pushed back on that notion. The Archives maintains the classified Obama presidential records are in a secure facility in the Washington, D.C. area, and Mr. Obama has no control over where and how it stores them. It said former President Obama's unclassified records are at a facility it controls in the Chicago area. Democrats are celebrating the passage, passage of the Inflation Reduction Act following its passage in the Senate on Sunday. Democrats say the landmark bill will lower energy costs, provide tax credits to those who buy green and manufacturers who build it. Separately, it allows Medicare to negotiate down high price prescription drugs and caps out of pocket drug costs for seniors. All Republicans oppose the bill. Democrats more than any other majority in history are addicted to spending other people's money, regardless of what we as a country can afford. How could they vote against lowering prescription drug costs? How could they vote against helping families with their health care costs? How can they vote against the planet? 
Republicans voiced objections to the $80 billion earmarked for beefing up IRS enforcement and hiring. Democrats insist the IRS audits will target only large corporations and wealthy individuals who cheat on their taxes. The bill now goes to President Biden to sign. A silent spread of the polio virus in New York is prompting the CDC to consider additional vaccinations for some people. The virus has been detected in wastewater samples in New York City and in two counties that neighbor the city. The late, in late July, one case of polio was confirmed in Rockland County in a patient who was unvaccinated. That young adult started experiencing weakness and paralysis about a month earlier. Polio vaccination rates in Rockland County and neighboring Orange County just north of the city are about 60% compared with 93% nationwide. Finding polio uh, in a country where we've had uh, high levels of vaccination, haven't seen polio uh, cases for over 40 years is significant. Uh, this is the, just the tip of the iceberg, right? The very, very tip of the iceberg. The CDC is considering whether to offer children in the areas affected an extra shot of the polio vaccine. Recommending extra doses to certain groups of adults is also an option. The majority of people with polio don't have symptoms so they can spread the virus without even knowing it. As part of new guidance, the CDC is dropping its recommendation that a person exposed to COVID-19 must quarantine. This is regardless of vaccination status. The agency also says screening for COVID when a person does not have symptoms is no longer necessary. Officials say the pandemic is not over, but the country is no longer in a space where COVID severely disrupts daily life. A large scale new study says mRNA COVID-19 vaccines are safe to use during pregnancy. Within a week of their second dose, 7% of pregnant, pregnant, pregnant women felt unwell enough for any reason to miss time from work or school. Non-pregnant women were actually more likely to report that kind of health event after getting an mRNA COVID vaccine. In an effort to fight the spread of monkeypox, the U.S. will stretch its limited supply of the vaccine. Health officials say data shows just one-fifth of the actual dose is effective against monkeypox. So far, more than 10,000 U.S. cases have been confirmed in this outbreak. Nearly every state has seen at least one case. Still ahead, Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson returned to the field. What he said to the media coming up. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Out here, we know a thing or two about beef. hy V knows beef, too. Only six out of a hundred cattle are even good enough to bear the high V brand. Only six out of a hundred. Quality like that is hard to find. So enjoy your high V steak this weekend. You've earned it. Senator Johnson's work and family define him. He and his brothers and sisters were raised by two loving parents with deep faith who taught him the value of work. As a young man, he shoveled driveways, mowed lawns, delivered papers, caddied, played Little League Baseball, and bailed hay on his uncle's farm. At 15, he got a dishwashing job at Walgreens Grill and became night manager before he was 16. After college, he married Jane, his wife of 45 years, and moved to Oshkosh to start a manufacturing business with Jane's brother. For the first year, the two traded 12-hour shifts. Over the next 30 years, Senator Johnson performed just about every task in that business. He installed and operated the equipment, loaded trucks, kept the books, and sold its products all over the world. His business didn't export jobs, it exported plastic. His quiet but extensive charitable work was never done for show, but simply to lend a helping hand, a value he learned from our parents. He's my brother and my best friend. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Ooh, Kohler, of course. When are you going to tell me about the new shower? Oh, you like it? I love it. I designed it myself. Is she bragging about our shower again? Wow. It was all Kohler Luxstone. The walls, the storage, the shower head, everything. A Kohler authorized dealer walked us through every detail. And installation couldn't have been easier.
Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. News 3 Now primary election coverage brought you everything you needed to know. The latest results, team coverage of the key races, reaction, and analysis. That's why your local election headquarters is News 3 Now. Teachers always spend a lot of out of pocket of their own money. It's a recent trend for teachers getting ready for back to school, creating their own Amazon wish lists. One local teacher shares her classroom wish list and why it's important for her students. Eye on Education, Monday at 10. And we're continuing to watch the radar this morning. As of right now, we're still just watching that cluster that's blown up outside of Crawford and for Vernon counties. As of right now, we're starting to see it weaken just a little bit. Not as many lightning signatures in that cluster. And the showers that were just into Grant County have pretty much fallen apart. One thing we are watching for those over the next three hours, whatever we're seeing well on the graph is not necessarily picking it up. So it is starting to fall apart. So again, we could start to see another break in terms of any precipitation here in southern Wisconsin. But we are looking for a bit of some pop up showers just north of Dane County outside of the Dells. But any kind of showers and storms itself is really staying on the isolated side throughout the rest of this morning. Again, we do have that marginal risk for central and southern Wisconsin. Here's another breakdown of the risk that we could be seeing. A brief spin up cannot be ruled out and small sized hail and high winds are also going to be associated as the threats for any storms that could start to brew up. Three things we'll need to know again thunderstorms are possible for today but for the next couple of days we're looking for cooler weather and on top of it the 70s are going to stick around in dry conditions at least through Wednesday we'll take a look at what else is coming up in just a few moments until then back to you Shane all right Julian thank you very much Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson said in a pregame interview Friday that he is quote truly sorry to all of the women that I have impacted in this situation end quote before that interview, Watson repeatedly denied allegations of misconduct, including alleged sexual assault and harassment involving more than two dozen women while he was with the Houston Texans. The NFL said last week it would appeal a decision to sit Watson without pay for six games. The league wants a full season suspension instead. Watson is awaiting the ruling from a former attorney general who has been named as NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's designee to hear the appeal. Goodell has called Watson's behavior egregious and predatory. 24 civil lawsuits have been filed in Texas against Watson. 23 have been settled confidentially. Two grand juries declined to charge Watson criminally. The FIFA World Cup is now 99 days away. FIFA actually moved up the start date of the men's tournament this year by one day. The opening ceremony and match will now take place on November 20th instead of the 21st as initially planned. The decision allows the host country Qatar to kick off the event with their match against Ecuador. The men's World Cup now stretches the four weeks from November 20th to December 18th. And NASA says a red supergiant star is recovering mass after it literally blew its top. This is an illustration of a gigantic surface mass ejection that happened in 2019. Astronomers say it's something that they've never seen before. According to NASA, the colossal star is one of the brightest stars in the sky, easily found in the Orion constellation. NASA says it is currently so big that if it replaced the sun at our center of our solar system, its outer surface would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. A lot of good info there. Still ahead, a rare bird sighted in western Wisconsin has locals excited. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's back tracking those storms when we get back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Senator Johnson's work and family define him. He and his brothers and sisters were raised by two loving parents with deep faith who taught him the value of work. As a young man, he shoveled driveways, mowed lawns, delivered papers, caddied, played Little League Baseball, and bailed hay on his uncle's farm. At 15, he got a dishwashing job at Walgreens Grill and became night manager before he was 16. After college, he married Jane, his wife of 45 years, and moved to Oshkosh to start a manufacturing business with Jane's brother. For the first year, the two traded 12-hour shifts. 
Over the next 30 years, Senator Johnson performed just about every task in that business. He installed and operated the equipment, loaded trucks, kept the books, and sold its products all over the world. His business didn't export jobs, it exported plastic. His quiet but extensive charitable work was never done for show, but simply to lend a helping hand, a value he learned from our parents. He's my brother and my best friend. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Culligan Water delivers. From your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them. Why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer. The Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here. So stop by your Ford dealer today and check out great offers on select Ford vehicles. Then discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% APR financing for 66 months. Imagine a world without breast cancer. What if you were the one more we needed to raise one more dollar, take one more step, share one more story? The power of one starts with you. Join us for the More Than Pink Walk, August 28th. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, we're going to dive right in, folks. This is what we're seeing on our surface map, which is going to be fueling in some of those showers and storms that we've already been seeing throughout much of this morning. Now, we have that low, which is starting to track its way in with that warm advection, and that is what's fueling in just a bit of those pocket showers and storms just outside of Vernon and Crawford County. Now, us here in Madison, we're starting to see a bit of some break in our cloud cover, which is some good news, but at the same time could end up being a bit of a factor for us to see some storms later into today. But as of right now, we can see where the moisture is in Iowa and southern parts of Minnesota, which is really starting to fuel a lot of those showers and storms. It's not a lot of fuel, but it's enough for us to see some wet precipitation for small parts of southern Wisconsin, which is where we're watching once again with that cluster of some storms. Now, just in the eastern tip of Iowa, we can see where the heaviest rainfall is on your screen. It is starting to weaken, however. Lightning signatures have started to fall apart, but as it continues, we could start to see it track its way into parts of Grant County and move its way into areas just towards south or southwest of Dane County. Now, in terms of showers, we are looking for a bit of some pocket showers just south of Madison. So near the Fitchburg area could see a bit of some showers this morning, but overall we're still rather dry. Now we do have a marginal risk a level one out of five for seeing strong to severe storms for central and southern Wisconsin throughout the course of the day. We've been talking about the threat breakdown, but here's another reminder today. We could see tornadoes, a brief spin up, not seeing multiple tornadoes, but one little brief spin up cannot be ruled out from any of the storms that could be rolled in for today. Now, hail, small size are going to be a product of any of the storms that roll through. And then outside of that, so we have high winds around 50 to 60 miles per hour are also one of the threats. Now, taking a look at what we're expecting throughout the rest of the morning, the storms that we're seeing now look to weaken and pretty much fizzle out by the time we get into the lunchtime hour. Could see a couple of showers just southwest of Dane County rolling its way into Rock County. But outside of that, things are going to stay rather quiet, but cloudy and then pop up showers are going to continue throughout our evening hours. Now, between the four to seven o'clock hours, where we're going to try to monitor as of right now, not a whole lot on our map, but we could start to see potentially some storms starting to fire up around that time of day where we're going to see our peak heat. Outside of that, it's going to be quiet for today and going into tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be cooler as we're going to be around 74 degrees. And if we don't see any storms starting to fire up, it's going to not see much in terms of precipitation. A tenth of an inch throughout much of southern Wisconsin is what we're going to be expecting. And then again, 
with those storms do not really produce today. Well, we're going to be looking at a pretty quiet and smooth sailing for the next few days for 70s are in the forecast, giving us a little bit of a taste for this time of year of somewhat fall for at least our mm. mornings, even though our afternoons are going to be very pleasant, Shane. I've been loving the little cool off these last few days, yeah. but at the same time, it's like, it's summer, you got to soak in the yeah. last few weeks of summer. Exactly. Yeah. And it, you know, it being a little cool wearing a light jacket might not be the best yeah, start. That's a good point. <laughs> All right, Julian, thank you very much. Yep. Well, the birding community in La Crosse is in for a special treat with the sighting of a seabird thousands of miles from its home. But there's more to this than just seeing a rare bird. Dua Israr has more from our sister station in La Crosse. Everyone wants to find a place they belong. We would be the only person of color at, at the events, and we never saw people of color leading the events. For Dexter Patterson, that meant building an inclusive bird watching community. They see everybody of all walks of life from, you know, grandmothers at age 84 to children. Patterson co-founded the BIPOC Birding Club of Wisconsin. Birders look like you. Birding is for everyone. His passion for birding brought him to lacrosse, Wisconsin. Who wants to help me find a brown booby? You ready? Let's go. Where someone else was trying to find a place to belong. What are you doing here, dude? Right, like that's kind of like what, what I was saying. For the first time in history, the brown booby landed in Wisconsin. It's a once in a lifetime experience. The brown booby gets its name from Spanish explorers. The bird would land on ships and didn't fear humans. So they call it a stupid bird, a bobo, and that's how the booby got its name. The brown booby is often found in tropical climates, including Mexico and the Caribbean. It's definitely really lost, that's for sure. The booby's lack of navigation has brought an entire community together. Hoping to meet some Wisconsin birders and, you know, it'd be fun to see how stoked they are about this. Bringing people... Oh my God! ...who sometimes feel out of place together. There are so many different types of people and there are so many different types of birds. To catch a glimpse of this Midwestern stranger who, like them, just wants to feel at home. Now there's no reason to worry about the brown booby. Birders say that once it realizes a Wisconsin winter is approaching, it'll return back to a warmer place. Reporting in La Crosse, Dua Srar, News 8 Now. All right, very cool stuff there out of La Crosse. We'll stick with News 3 now all weekend. Tonight, the next steps for Ron Johnson and Mandela Barnes ahead of the November election. But coming up next, a deep dive into a local band. We'll be back after this. The anniversary sale at Denver Mattress has been extended, and that means everything is on sale. Take 50 bucks off every Buena Vista, Summit, and Doctor's Choice Original. Plus 50 months no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. During Toyota's national sales event, we're working hard to deliver new Toyotas so you can enjoy the last of summer. From hitting the rapids with a RAV4 hybrid, to kicking up sand in a Tundra, or camping out in a Highlander. Hey guys! Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Felco Factory Direct. What does that mean? It means no middleman, no overpriced, underperforming windows. Factory Direct means getting what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank. It means when you buy one window, you'll get one free. Yes, free. It means quality craftsmanship, custom designs, and a lifetime warranty. Most importantly, it means a team of window professionals dedicated to one thing above all, your delight. Buy one window, get one free. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELTCO. I love this state. Knock on any door in any county, and you'll find good-hearted, hard-working folks. People whose businesses are proudly helped as lieutenant governor. Hard work needs to be respected again, with fair wages and opportunities to get ahead. That's how my parents opened doors for me. My mom was a teacher, and my dad worked third shift. I'm not one of these millionaires. I work just as hard for you as you work for your family. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Wipes, wipes, wipes. Why the waste? Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water with reusable EcoPad. My cells work like a magnet. Now leave less mascara residue than the leading wipes. With no wipe waste. Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and reusable EcoPad by Garnier Naturally. Huh. They look different online. Jeez. Wow, that's a lot of rolls. When you prefer dream vacation over a rental nightmare... Let's 
get you checked in. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. The anniversary sale at Denver Mattress has been extended, and that means everything is on sale. Take 50 bucks off every Buena Vista, Summit, and Doctor's Choice Original. Plus 50 months no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. The Chicago Bears take on the Kansas City Chiefs Saturday at noon. It was a busy week for this local band, and if you miss rocking out to the periodicals at Old Rich Gardens or the East Side Club, you're in luck. Our photojournalist Christopher Hawbaker was there to catch their set and share with you this local music coverage in our morning notes segment. <laughs> I grew up with music. Um, I consider music a sibling. I don't feel like my life would be right without it in some kind of way. All of my siblings either play instruments, um, engineer, or create music. We're just a creative family. This is something new for me growing up in a church. Now I'm singing rock music. That's a little different, um, but I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Periodical is more of an R&B, old school feel. Um, some pop, some rock. The hits keep coming. It hits all the right points for a good mesh of good music. Uh, originally from Chicago, born and raised. I'm from London, England. Jeff Blakehorst, who's my sort of co-conspirator in the periodicals, and I kind of met, feels like yesterday, but uh, yeah, eight years ago. And we just kind of had a conversation about music, and I tapped him up and said, hey, maybe we can start writing. And about 18 months later, did our first show with the first lineup of this band. And the band has kind of changed sound throughout the years? Well, it's definitely evolved. The covers that we do are all from the canon of Northern Soul. Not really hits here in America, but found a niche in actually in the north of England. The dance hall, dance floor fillers of that genre. We've got a opportunity for three, four part harmonies. The human voice has this quality and the more of that we can do, the better it sounds. High Noon Saloon for their patio parties during happy hour a couple of weeks ago. Their Memorial Union Terrace with an amazing view and sunset, huge crowd. Today we're at the Ulbrich Gardens, which is another bucket list venue. The Big Bang is at the end of the month, Orton Park Festival, August 27th. Uh, it's a nine piece band. Uh, Nico Murphy is our lead singer. Uh, I sing vocals and play guitar. Jeff Blakehorst is the other guitar player. He sings backup vocals. And then we have Steve Rosenblum on bass, Dave Bush on drums, Misha Eim on saxophone, Rob Hearn on trombone, Bob Jacobson on trumpet, and Alida Lacoste, uh, who is our sort of Swiss Army knife. She plays keyboards, she plays violin. amazing group of uh, seasoned musicians uh, from all walks of life and all genres coming together to make some really, really good music for uh, all the crowds that we, we play for. It's a love for everyone in this band, and you'd be really missing out if you don't check us out. Such a cool sound. Well, in two weeks, the periodicals have another show at the Orton Park Festival. And if you want to read more about the band, you can head to channel3000.com. Now, Julian's going to get us another check here of your Saturday forecast. That's right, and it is going to be a nice one. I know you. I know why you're smiling there. I had to throw the deuces up like Nixon. But going in, we are looking at some showers and storms to be possible throughout the course of the day. So make sure you're staying weather aware because it's not going to be widespread, but some isolated communities could be impacted. Outside of that, Sunday to 
Wednesday is going to be nice, so soak it all in. Then next weekend, we're looking at more storms on the way, but we'll be monitoring that as the days go along, Shane. All right, Julian, thank you very much, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you here tomorrow.